let's take a simple example. On one side, we have a wooden block and on the other, we have a plain glass. What is the difference between them? One doesn't allow the propagation of light. On the other side, it literally allows the propagation of light. Both belong to the same category. They both are solids. What actually makes them to do this? Hi, this is Chandan, the Chief CEO of Absolute Science and today we're going to take a closer look of glass and the wonderful science behind it. So, let's get started. Firstly, we have to know what light actually is. What photons actually are? Because they are really important to understand this. Light particles or the photons can absolutely pass through the glass in the form of a beam. So, they are not actually absorbed by it. What's the reason? Because the glass doesn't have the substances which could absolutely attract them. The smallest quantity of energy that can be transported is a photon. An elementary particle without a size that cannot be changed, only created or destroyed. Light has both the capacities of a particle and wave. But more about this image is a lie. Also, whenever we say light, light means a small part of the large electromagnetic spectrum, which contains really large number of different things like gamma rays, X rays, ultra. One of the reason is interatomic spaces. These are two successive spaces or the area which is present between two successive shells or orbits, etc. So this is the there is really a plenty amount of area for all the light photons or the light particles to just move through. The common phenomena is the ultraviolet light is blocked by the glass. So the glass does not allow any ultraviolet light to pass through it. So the ultraviolet frequency is absolutely blocked by it and the visible frequency or the visible light is completely allowed. This kind of principle is used to take a absolute high precision X-rays. So in X-rays where all the radiations just pass through the body except the bones in our body act like a barrier. This causes the shadow. That's what is a graph. And that's what will be seen on a X-ray sheet. A vast range of electromagnetic waves are created when an atom or the molecule drops from the higher state to lower state of energy. The lose energy and the lost energy is in the form of an electromagnetic radiation. In the microscopic level, when an electron lose energy, it just comes down. And in, if an electron gains energy, then the absorption spectrum forms and it goes up. The structure of the molecule really plays a very important role in absorption and emission spectrum. The energy levels of these molecules are really high because in molecules they absorb discrete frequencies and because of these frequencies they have really large number of energetic levels. So this would really cause a greater complexion ranging from a smallest molecule to the greatest K8 molecule everything has so large complexions so large amount of energy that can be observed during this process is called lattice effect lattice effect is something like forming a fence for making different things to grow up at the same time Why light passes through some materials but not the other. This is because of the intermolecular spaces between them or the property of those the matter to just absorb or grab the entity of light. So this is a complete explanation of light. So this is Chandan the chief CEO of Absolute Science and don't forget to subscribe. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to smash that like button below. This is Chandan, the Chief CEO of Absolute Science, signing off. Get ready to experience the infinity.